All right. Now, if you've been watching my channel very long, you know that I love SEOwriting.ai. Great tool. They've just released some significant updates. So I thought it would be worthwhile to go ahead and run through the tool and talk about what those updates are. So we're going to start this off by doing a one-click blog post and get into those uh, new upgrades. Uh, the main keyword is what is Boca and why is it important? So let's go ahead and generate a title. Boca or bouquet is a photography term. And so uh, I do a lot of photography and I wanted to see what kind of article it would produce for us. So understanding Boca, what what it is and its importance, that's fine. We'll go with that title. Uh, English language. Let's stick with, I'm going to go ahead with an informational tone of voice. Point of view, I like first person. Target country. United States. Uh, we'll go with a medium size article for now. So here's one of the big changes that I want to talk to you about. It's in the language models that you can write your articles in. Originally, SEOwriting.ai was using a GPT 3.5, GPT 4 combination hybrid language model. And now they've offered uh, three other different ways that you can write. You can write with GPT-4 128K Turbo. Uh, that's considered a high quality article. It uses seven times the amount of words. Uh, GPT-4 8K high quality, that's the older version of GPT-4. Now the tokens for that are more expensive. It uses 15 times more words. Truthfully, I'm not sure why I would write with this. I would prefer to write in GPT-4 128K Turbo. It's a newer model. And they also offer a model GPT-4 128K Turbo plus all data. They consider that to be the highest quality output and it will use 30 times your word credits. So just be aware, um, if you choose to write in this model, uh, it does use quite a bit of your uh, word usage. So just be aware of that fact. Personally, I think I would probably write most of my articles in the GPT-4 128K Turbo. I'm going to do it for this article. So this is the section called Media Hub. And you can add images and YouTube videos if you want to. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, in this instance, I'm not going to add any images. I have some of my own images I would use in an article like this, some of my own photography. So now here we are in the SEO section. I've went out to Neuron Writer and I've got a list of, of terms that I want to use in this article. So I've already done that ahead of time. We'll go back. We'll drop in these terms. So now these are all the terms that I want to have uh, SEO writing try to use in the article if it can. So here we are in the document structure section. I want a conclusion, I want tables, I want H3s, lists, italics, uh, I'm going to say no to quotes, yes to key takeaways, I don't want an FAQ, and bolded text is fine for some of those uh, selected terms that they want to bold. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes to connect to web, no source links. Now here's the new, another new feature. It's the outline editor. So I want to enable the outline editor. And I'm going to click magic bag and have it create an outline for me. Uh, you can, you know, develop your own outline. And for instance, if you were to go to Claude or ChatGPT and have it build an outline for this particular article, it could do that. In this case, I'm going to let uh, SEO writing do that. So another thing I wanted to point out about the outline editor before we go ahead and take a look and see what it created. So that magic bag button generates a real-time outline based on the top ranking articles on search engines for your topic. If connect to web is enabled, which that's what I did is I enabled connect to web for this article. So they have add a headline allows you to manually create a list of headlines for your article. If you want to manually do it, you can drag and drop the items in this outline just to put things in the order that you want them. And the nice thing about this is it's using the GPT-4 
128K turbo model for the outline. So even if you're writing in the hybrid 3.5 GPT-4 hybrid model, it's still going to create an outline based on GPT-4 128K turbo. Here we go. Take a look and see what's going on here. Understanding bokeh, difference between blur and bokeh. Yes, I like everything in this outline. Let's go ahead and continue on. I'm not publishing to WordPress. I'm not using an API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Run. All right, the article's done. Understanding bokeh, what it is and its importance. It's got key takeaways. This probably needs to be broken up into a couple sections. It's got some nice tables in it. Really like that. Just scrolling through here and just, you know, reading through it as I'm scrolling through. I really like a lot of what I'm seeing. And like anything, when you um, do an AI article, you need to read through it. You need to proofread it. You need to make sure that everything that's in it uh, is factual. And so um, that would be something that I would need to do. And this is a fairly sig significant article in size. It's 4,000 words. So remember, you know, I used uh, the language model that uses seven times the word credits. So this is going to use 28,000 words against my uh, word credit total for the month. So let's take it and just do a couple things with it. First, I'd like to understand a little bit more about its readability and take it over into Hemingway and get an idea of how it scores. I'm always interested to see that because I think blog post readability is important. Now, this is about, uh, you know, a fairly technical uh, topic in photography. So I'm not expecting the readability to be like, you know, eighth grade. Uh, it's grade 13. You know, Hemingway says, you know, aim for nine. There are ways that you could go through. You could take some of these sentences that Hemingway says are diff are very hard to read and use chat GPT, for example. I, I built a GPT uh, that just takes sections of text and then uh, allows me to choose a grade level and rewrite it. So let's go ahead and drop it in Grammarly and see what kind of score we get here. So Grammarly gives it a 90 overall score. I like to at least have an article with a 95 score in Grammarly. Now, one of the best purchases I've made is Grammarly. I really think it's important to uh, run all your blog posts through Grammarly and make sure you're making corrections. Now, a lot of the corrections you'll make will definitely uh, add to the readability and also uh, probably uh, help you with your Hemingway score as well. So lastly, what I want to do is check plagiarism, plagiarism score of 1%. So that's awesome. There's nothing there that I would need to, to make any changes in. So just to recap, when you're creating a new document, the two things that you want to be aware of in seowriting.ai now are going to be the language models and picking the language model, which makes sense for the article that you're writing and the uh, amount of credit, word credits that you want to use. And the other piece, of course, is now uh, it allows you to uh, have it create an outline for you automatically, or you can create outlines and other tools, pull them in here and use them as well. That's a really nice, nice feature. I'm happy to see that. Here's the, here's the cost for seowriting.ai. I just want to remind you, I do have... Um, a discount code that you can use for 25% off of seowriting.ai. I'm an affiliate, so if you choose to make a purchase, I will make a commission. If you go, let's just look at the build monthly plans. You know, starts at $19 a month for 100,000 words. Now, I will say, if you are going to use GPT-4, any of the GPT-4 language models that SEO writing has, those are more expensive. Uh, they use more tokens. I really think you probably need to have at least a 500,000 uh, word, uh, words per month to be able to write a lot of articles uh, in GPT-4. If you go with a yearly plan, it's a, it's a little cheaper. It 
works out to 38 a month. And remember, use my discount code, get 25% off. Okay, that's it for the new features. Multiple language models now to choose from, multiple GPT-4 language models to use, and uh, a really nice uh, automatic outline generator, or you can build your own outlines yourself. So that's it. Uh, if you thought this was helpful, please like, uh, subscribe, visit MikeShuey.com, sign up for my free monthly newsletter as well. Until next time, take care.